all of this fits into this. And I'm telling you, once you've used a bidet, you will always use a bidet. I'm gonna say it, I carry two toiletries bags when I travel. Of you who watch me, you know, and you call me Mary Poppins because yes, I stuff a lot of things into my bags and luggage, and this is no exception, and this is especially important for me because I carry a lot of things, and there's a lot of things that I need to use, but I've gotta get them in a small format and get them into a small format toiletries bag, so that's what I'm gonna reveal for you here today. Simple. Thanks for coming to my channel today. And if you are here, you're probably wondering, how do I pack all the stuff I'm going to need for like a long-term travel for like a month or something like that. And I'm going to show you how I pack my Mary Poppins toiletries bag. So let's get to opening up each of these bags and show you what I pack just to give you some ideas of what you might want that make your long-term travel adventure a little bit easier and a little bit more comfortable. The end of the video i'm going to show you a couple of things that i always bring with me that are not necessarily toiletries but that really make my trip a lot more comfortable and safe i'm going to say it i carry two toiletries bags when i travel and for many of you you know i always carry this one which will get me through a week anytime i always travel with this and it has everything from toothpaste toothbrush anything to clean my hair my body and makeup and brushes everything in here and I will link that up here so you can take a look at that I'm not going to go through this bag in this video because I've already done it and I need to concentrate on these other things but take a look at that video if you want to see what's in here why do I travel with two toiletries bags well this one always goes into my personal carry-on so that way if by chance this whole set which goes into my checked luggage or sometimes it will go into my overhead luggage and they say, hey, we've got to check your bag and they check it and they lose it. I always have enough stuff in here to get me through a week and I've had my bags lost for four days before and I'm really glad I have this so I can get cleaned up and do everything that I need to. Also, if I'm on a longer trip, let's say I'm gone for a month, six weeks, a couple of months, but I'm going to be taking these little excursions here or there, I don't want to pack all this back up. I might just leave this maybe even at the hotel and check it in and say, hey, can you just hold this stuff for me or leave it in my hotel room or my Airbnb or my friend's house and say, I'm going to take a long weekend and then I just pack this with me and it has everything I need to get me through that long weekend and saves me this space. So for those of you who have watched my channel, you'll know that I also carry a little a bag of medicines and things like that. I always carry a little medical kit like this. It has some different things for sickness, diarrhea, constipation, electrolytes, and a mask. Always carry a little medical kit like this. I also have a link for this I'll put up here that goes over what's in this little medical bag. So I won't be going over this today either. Of course you can't go on a trip without your medication and your vitamins and I like this tiny little uh, set here that has these uh, binder ring holders and these little bags that fit into it. I really like this little vitamin binder because it is actually a binder and I can open it up just like this and take out a packet or two to take on a weekend trip but this has a month's worth of supplements in here for me. Now how I do it is if I'm going for a month, I put four days worth of vitamins or any sort of medication that I need that's not prescription into this. This has seven bags, so this will get me through 28 days right here. So I always bring something like this. That way, if I'm going to go on a little side trip with this bag, all I have to do is open this up open up the binder and take out just a couple of these bags or one of these bags and it'll get me through my four day weekend or three day weekend. So that is a month's worth of my supplements. It will vary depending on what you're taking. You might want a couple of these. And of course, if I had prescription medication, I would carry that as well and I would put it in your clear bag in case it had to be inspected. So depending on how much medication and vitamins you take, will depend on how you arrange your bags, but this is just how I do it. 
when I'm going on a long-term trip, everything that's in this bag, like I said, will get me through a week. And there are a few things that I don't normally pack, like skincare items, that I can go probably a week without. But if I'm going longer term, I'm gonna want a few of those skincare items or any kind of personal hygiene items that I may want to bring with me just to make sure that I'm taking care of my skin or anything else and just to make it a little more convenient because I'm going to be gone for a longer period of time. That's what's in this larger set here. A lot of toiletry bags in my day and I always come back to having something that can hang like this. So this has a lot of pockets. It allows me to access this stuff really easily. This one even unsnaps. So if I need to take some smaller liquid things out to carry on a smaller trip, I can take that in this smaller bag. And then everything, like these bags are a little bit, these pockets are mesh, they stretch. I like that because you know how it is. Sometimes you have pokey things and you just need things to be able to be put in and kept secure. This is a great toiletries bag. This set is all of this, plus this, plus this, which leads me to this bag, which is the bag that holds my slippers. Because for me, I like to wear slippers in a hotel room. That way when I get in, I take off my shoes and I put on something that I can run around my hotel room with. That I don't go outside with them. And this keeps them really clean and keeps them all with me. So I like this little bag that comes with it just to hold my slippers. And this is perfect for that. I have TSA pre-checked so I don't have to take anything out of my luggage and lay it out on the screening um, bins or anything like that. But I always pack things in a clear bag like this because if I'm not in the United States, TSA pre-check doesn't apply and they're going to want me to put things out in a clear bag like this. And there's a lot of stuff in here. Not all of it is liquids. It's just some things that I carry with me um, to help, you know, pull all of this together. But I always carry something like this, a clear bag, so I can set that out for any sort of screening. Dental hygiene is essential for me. In this bag right here, I carry a little folding toothbrush and for a week, that works great. But if I'm gonna be gone longer, I'm gonna want to really take care of my teeth a little bit better. So I want my little uh, rechargeable electric toothbrush. I love this thing. It's just USB-C rechargeable. I also love my floss that's a really good floss. I carry floss picks in there and that's great, but I like how this really gets my teeth deep clean so that. I normally carry toothpaste tabs in here, but when I'm gone for a longer period of time, I find that those toothpaste tabs all break up into a little powder or crunched up. So I do bring a small tube of toothpaste. And of course, I always now bring my little whitening stick. Right, I wanna to talk to you about this teeth whitening system that I'm using by Power Swabs. Uh, I am so glad that I gave this a try. I've been wanting to get my teeth whitened. I didn't want to spend like a thousand dollars at the dentist. I tried the strips and the trays. It was messy. Um, it made my teeth sensitive. So Power Swabs reached out and said, you want to give this a try? I'm like, yeah, let me give it a try for seven days. And the first day that I used this, the very first day within minutes, my teeth were like, two shades whiter and I literally looked at the mirror and I thought is it is it just me is it you know I, I literally looked and I looked back at a picture and I could tell that they were lighter so I started using this for seven days it's so simple to use this kit comes right here with great instructions but the first one is the stain out and what I love about it is it doesn't just cover up the stains. It removes stains from natural teeth, veneers, caps, crowns, whatever you have, it removes the stains. You put this on for two minutes, let it sit for 30 seconds. Then the second one is the whitening. You do the exact same thing. You rub it on for two minutes, just like I was doing, and then let it sit for 30 seconds, and then you're done. So I would do this every night before bed, and I notice that my teeth are whiter. And especially as you get older, when you get those stains like up around the gum line, that's what I really noticed was it was taking away those stains so that my teeth seemed brighter. And I have to say, I think I feel and look a little more youthful with whiter teeth, so I'm really happy that I tried that. They also give you this stick right here. So when you're done with your seven days, you just use this once a day on your teeth. You just put it on and it'll just continue working. I put it on every night before bed, so that way it'll work at night while I'm sleeping. 
really easy to use, easy to travel with. So once you're done with your weekly system, do this. They're having a great sale. They're giving you 50% off plus free shipping plus this pen. So it's a great kit. Get yourself started. I mean, there's no sensitivity to my teeth and I have sensitive teeth. So I, I'm really happy with how this is working out, but I will put a link in the video description to get this kit 50% off free shipping take advantage of this and get yourself a nice bright white smile and for those of you who are younger you may not notice this as much but for those of us who are older and you've been eating a lot of chocolate and berries and coffee and wine your teeth start to stain so this to me is uh, an important part of my dental hygiene let's start off with the basics which is for me just being able to get clean and when i'm going on a long trip if i'm going to be staying at hotels or maybe even a friend's house I generally can just use either what's in the hotel or ask my friend, can I use your shampoo and soap? And generally it's not a problem. However, if you do have specific hair care or body care needs, you want to bring those with you. They may not be easy to buy at your destination, so pack those with you. I generally don't have a big preference on that, so I pack in this little soap bag. This is my bag of soap bars. So this is my shampoo, conditioner, and my body soap. So if I'm someplace where I don't have something like from a hotel or something, um, there you can see shampoo, conditioner, and then body soap. And they go into this little bag, which um, keeps them from getting slimy, but also keeps them from sliming everything else in my set here. And it just rolls up like this. Easy peasy, no bottles to deal with. So these things right here will get me through if I'm at an Airbnb or something and they don't have, you know, soap or anything that they're providing. Or if I'm going on a little weekend trip and I just don't want to pack a bunch of stuff, this works great. I can get everything clean with this little bag. So I always carry bars. That way I don't have to worry about liquid spilling on these particular things. I'm not that particular about it. So that is what I use to keep clean when I'm on a longer trip. Speaking of clean, um, this is a little bit of a more sensitive subject, I guess. This is my little bidet kit right here. Yes, it's a little travel bidet that I made up. And um, for those of you who have ever traveled into Asia, you know bidets are all over. But sometimes when you go out either to people's house or Airbnb, they won't have a bidet. And I'm telling you, once you've used a bidet, you will always use a bidet. I, it's just something that makes me feel a lot cleaner, especially in the hot summer months when I just want to get everything cleaned up down there. This is my kit. This is future me here realizing I didn't really give a context as to the bidet in the video. I wanted to make that up for you now. This is that little kit that I was talking about. I made this kit up as my little travel bidet set. And for those of you who travel and you know you've had vacation constipation or a traveler's diarrhea, this can really be a life saver. Now I bought a bidet like this and it's nice. It will come up and clean me, but it's a little bit bulky. So I wanted to make something a little smaller, something that if I didn't want to take that it would fit into even just a plain old water bottle like this. So if you don't want this and you just want to buy this, this is great. Um, this little nozzle just allows you to spray up and spray the area you need to get cleaned or soothed and then you can just throw the water bottle out or reuse it. I just didn't like the sound of that water bottle so I went and got a little bottle like this which is um, it's like some silicone little bottle and I just went and bought that and I can put this up in here so now when I want to clean I can use this and it'll I can squeeze it and it'll clean. Now I'm not trying to get a bath I'm just trying to get things like cleaned up down there and soothed. So this folds up to like nothing. This is like nothing. I can carry it like this. I also carry a little handy wipe so I can dry off down there once I'm cleaned up. This will dry in like five minutes if I just leave it hang out. And the last thing that's in here, this is just the lid to this little thing, but the last thing that's in here is this ointment, which has been a lifesaver because for those of you who get hemorrhoids with constipation or diarrhea, this is a soother because there's nothing worse on vacation than when you can't sit or walk and enjoy your vacation. So this is my little set that I bring with me. I know a lot of people don't like to talk about those things, but hey, they happen. And that way I know that I can get myself cleaned and soothed. And this is just my little set that I take with me on vacation. 
you can see there is a lot of stuff in here. This is my TSA bag that has all of my liquids. Um, if it's something that I need to bring with me that I may not be able to find somewhere else, it's in here and I try to buy travel sizes as much as possible. So let's take a quick look. I love these little um, refillable bottles or flat pack bottles because once you use it up it's going to pack completely flat so these are in here these have um, different cleansers i have a, a lot of stuff in here i have um, a day cleanser and a night cleanser that i keep in here now i have skincare that i use and I, I i like this brand i've been using it so i need some of this stuff to help me with my rosacea I also carry a stick sunscreen because I like it. It lasts longer and I can carry more in a stick than I can in a bottle. Of course, I always carry a Tide stick because, you know me, I'm going to get something on me. And I like this little Benadryl thing or it's something like, see, I've got a couple of bug bites here and this helps take that itch away. Oh, and my power stain stick this is my um, eye makeup remover. I like this because um, it's gentle and I like to bring that to some more face stuff. I always bring some lip therapy. I have my toothpaste, my primer, another thing of primer because, you know, what's in my little bag there will only last me a week. Um, a retinol eye cream, some extra makeup things that are liquids that um, I would need to bring and some sunscreen for my face. I also like to have um, my Aquaphor. I use this on my fingers, my cuticles, as well as my lips. And um, this is my sunscreen for day. And the rest of this, I'm gonna go over at the end of the video. I like this little bag because it snaps on here and I can snap it off and use it as a little TSA bag if I want. Um, so it's a little bit smaller than the other one. And these are the things I have in here, which is these I use to remove my makeup, which works great. I also have a mirror here that has both, um, z you know, something that will actually uh, magnify and a regular mirror. And I'll show you at the end here how I actually use this with a light. Of course, everything has to be dual purpose for me. So I have this mirror, which is great. It allows me to, you know, have a magnifier and a regular mirror, but there's no light to it. Well, because the lighted ones are a little bit thicker, I just use my selfie light and I just put it onto my mirror like this, and this way I can do my makeup right here and have this light. So this is dual purpose. This is something I carry with me in my purse all the time, and I just use it on my makeup mirror. I also have um, my makeup in here that's extra than what I carry in that little weekly bag. So this has a really nice contour and blush set that I can also use as extra eyeshadows. And if I really want to dress my eyeshadow up a little bit, I'm going out or something, I have this little set, which I thought was really cute. Um, this little set has a lot of great colors in it, so I bring that along too. And of course, a little tiny back scratcher, because when you're traveling alone and you get that little itch in the middle of your shoulder blades, you're going to be really glad you have this. All right, this is the second, the middle portion of the bag, and it has a few things in here. This is um, deodorant that I travel with. So... Um, it's actually antiperspirant. So what I like are these are packs. I don't shower every single day, but when I shower, I will use one of these to put on some antiperspirant. And what's great is once I'm done, this pocket is empty and this is um, in the garbage, which to me is still better than those plastic um, antiperspirant or deodorant containers. I always bring a couple of different cloths with me. I've shown you this in other videos. Um, I take these cloths and I cut them up. These are travel or backpacking um, towels. So I'll use something like this to dry off my face and I can use this to wash off my face and things like that. So I always take a couple of backpacking towels with me. And then I have a special one for my face. Unfortunately, they don't make this anymore, but this is a silk cloth. And then I also have the little eye makeup remover bamboo pad. Those stay in here. And the silk cloth is an exfoliating silk cloth. I, I use that just for my face because I don't use the same cloth on my body as I do on my face, so I keep that separate. What's next? Anything else? Okay, next is a tree. It's a bidet. It's a, this is my bag of soap bars. So other things. Oh, a couple of dental picks. My dental floss. And this little cup, which I use for a multitude of things. This part of the bag here carries a few things like 
a empty spray bottle. Um, I've talked about this before that if I need to get wrinkles out of clothes or if I'm traveling around and I'm hot, this little bit of water to mist on helps. It also gets the wrinkles out of my clothes. It's a simple little spray bottle and I got this from Maggie Valera as part of my little kit she sent me. Thank you, Maggie. This is wonderful. I also carry, this is just an appeal for my face if I do this like um, probably once or twice a month, I carry that. Um, if it's summertime, I'm always having to get the heels and stuff smoothed off, so a little tiny smoother for my feet. My little bamboo razor, this is so light, I mean it literally feels like nothing and um, it's a great because it's bamboo and very little plastic here. Oh, oh these are my reusable, um, reusable Q-tips. I know this sounds gross guys, but you clean your ears with these and then you wash them off and you can reuse them and I love that. And um, it came with a container, a little bamboo container, but I just keep them in here because it's slimmer. And of course, you know, I'm kind of at that age where I'm just starting to get that little mustache thing. These are my little, put across my lip and take a mustache off because like I said, I can go for a week, but if I'm gone for a month, I might need to take a little bit of a mustache off, uh, off of my face. So that just fits all in here. That's that. And then the last thing I have in this pocket is a nail kit which is a chopped off toothbrush and I, I took my, um, it's a, not a file, but something that buffs your nails and I just cut it in half so it fits in this tiny little container. Um, my little hand loofah, so when I'm washing, it gives me a little bit of scrub if I need to get something a little bit, um, you know, you know, exfoliated. Um, I do sometimes get a cold sore and I have this with me. I also have a set in my um, weekly bag my electric toothbrush, which is rechargeable. I talked about that. A small little hairbrush like this works great and I keep a hair tie on it. I also keep a shower cap just in case. And my natural buffalo horn comb, which keeps static out and is a great, it's pretty much unbreakable, it's horn. So I love that. And that folks is everything in that toiletries bag. All right, I'm gonna go over these other things that aren't toiletries, but make my trip a little bit easier, nicer. And one of these is portable hangers and chip clip and cup holders. I've talked about these in a couple of my videos. These little portable hangers work great. They just unfold. And then I use these little um, chip clip and cup holders to put on here. They just hook right onto the edge of the hanger here, which is nice, or I can hook them in here. Um, if I have a bra or tank top or socks that I'm trying to clip on and wash and dry, this does the trick for me. So I can clip on a pair of socks on here and wash them dry them. Underwear, bras, tank tops, even a pair of pants, I can clip on this and get them washed and dried. So this is essential for me to have. Um, I also bring this little hook because I can hook this on the shower door to hang the hangers or a bag, but I also use this when I'm traveling in a car so I can hook this on the headrest and this way when I hook on it, I can put my purse or something on here. I like my bag I'm not flying around in a car or anything like that, so this is just a little versatile thing. Speaking of hooks, I always bring this set of things. So this is a command hook right here, and I also bring this little bit of painter's tape. Something that drives me a little crazy when I travel is I get to my Airbnb or whatever and there's not a hook on the door or anything to hold a purse, toilet, your bag, robe, whatever. So I always travel with these. And no, I don't bring the whole roll of tape, but let me show you what I do. I bring a little painter's tape like this, whether I just fold it up or I just put it around a pen so it's easy to get a hold of. I'm just gonna put this painter's tape on the door so that I can help protect the door or the wall that I'm gonna be putting this hook onto. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick the hook onto the tape. Now you can see that this is stuck to the painter's tape and not to the door. This will be on here good enough to be able to hold things like a toiletries bag, a robe, a pair of pajamas, whatever, a coat. And then when I'm ready to go, all I have to do is take this off. And then all I have to do is remove the painter's tape and there's no damage on the door or wall. Also, I bring these little glow strips so that if by chance, um, it's really dark in my hotel room with blackout curtains. I've walked into a wall before. I can put a little bit of painter's tape on the wall and then put one of these glow sticks. And when I shut the light off at night, this will glow for a good long time. So that way I'm not walking into a wall or a corner. And then of course, um, I also bring a little bit of these little black post-it notes because if by chance there's a glowing 
light in the room that's bothering me, whether it's an alarm clock or some other light, a microwave or whatever, a TV light, I'll put this right over that. It'll block that light so it doesn't bother me. So that is my, my little uh, go-to kit for that. And I also bring this little humidifier and you just set this into a bowl of water and plug it in and it'll bring up humidity into your room. So this is great when you're in drier climates to have that sitting next to your bed. And then I also bring this little night light that um, if I have it on, it's uh, something I just set on the counter. It's motion activated. So that way it'll turn off. But when I come into it, it'll turn it back on and it's rechargeable. I love that. And last but not least, I have a couple of things. Oh, with this humidifier thing, I also add a little bit of essential oil. I can put essential oil into the water and make it smell really nice in my room. And then a little collapsible cup that I use for a multitude of things. Um, I can use it as a drinking cup. I can also use it to put this little humidifier in and if I fill it up, it'll last me the whole night. I can also use it to put this little candle in. So um, this is great. It's a little beeswax candle and I can set that down in there and light that and give myself a nice little ambiance if I want to have a nice little quiet night in my room or a little bit of light like that. So this is just something I add for some ambiance. This is it. This is everything in my Mary Poppins toiletry set. You know, it's a couple of bags here. So I kind of spread it out throughout my luggage. And again, it changes a little bit depending on where I'm going for how long I'm going. But this is what I choose from when I'm getting ready to pack my toiletries bag. And yes, there have been occasions where I packed all of it and it goes into my checked luggage when it's that full. So yeah, this is everything that I have. And I wanna know, what do you carry? What are some of the most important things that you carry with you on a long-term travel adventure that make you feel clean, safe, comfortable, more at home? Put those in the comments below because I'd like to know and I think everyone in this community would like to know so they can augment their little Mary Poppins travels bag too. I've covered a lot of things in this video and I'm not going to list each individual separate thing in the video description. There'll be a few there in the video description, but I will put a link to my Amazon storefront, which will list this particular set. I'll list it as, you know, long-term travel toiletries bag. And that way, pretty much everything that I can will be in there and then you can pick and choose what you want. So take a look at that list. And um, by the way, if you do shop through my Amazon storefront, thank you. That does help support my channel at no additional cost to you. You're able to get some of these great products and I get a small tiny cut from Amazon to help support myself. Like this video, I think you're really gonna like this one and I really think you're gonna like this playlist, so make sure you check them out. And as usual, remember to juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple, keep your toiletries bag simple. I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.